Now we're going to create a new named set. We'll call this Top 10 Customers. We'll go to the Functions pane and we'll find the Top Count function, which will return a set. So for the first argument for our set, we want the customers. So we'll go to the customer dimension and the customer's hierarchy. And specifically, we want the customer level of the hierarchy. So we want the function to evaluate all of the customers at the bottom most level of this hierarchy. Customer dimension, customer's hierarchy, the customer level dot members. So we'll use the members function to retrieve all of the customers. So we want the top count function to return a certain number of members. So we need to specify how many members from the set that we want to return. For this name set, we want 10. And then we need to define a numeric expression here. So for our top count, what it's going to do is to take each customer member and find the numeric expression, which we'll define here as internet sales amount. So it will calculate the internet sales amount for each customer, sort the result in descending order so that we get the customers with the most sales at the top of the list, and then the first 10 of those customers will get returned when we ask for the top 10 customers. We have the option of making this a dynamic or a static set. We're going to make this dynamic because we want the top 10 customers to change based upon what we've asked for, whether we look at a particular year or a particular product, we can get different results rather than if we use static and specify the top 10, we would get the top 10 customers of all time. And then even if we looked at a query by year and so forth, we'd still be looking at the top 10 customers. So for this example, we'll leave the dynamic setting. So that way we'll get our top 10 customers based upon how our query is set up. We can control whether the name set appears individually alongside the other attribute hierarchies, or if we want to create multiple sets, we could create a display folder just by typing in the name of the folder here. So let's deploy this. and then reconnect. And now when we want to work with name sets, we actually have to ask for the complete hierarchy on rows or columns. And then for the customer sets, we're not able to add that to our main grid here. This is strictly within bids. This would work correctly in Excel. But in bids, we're not able to work with the name sets. Even though we can see the name set, we have to add it to this filter pane at the top. We just drag and drop it. And you can see that our values changed in the grid. We can see the sales broken down by female and male, but these represent our top 10 customers. So if we expand here, we can see that we have six females and for males for our top 10 customers. Now this list of customers is for all time. So we can change to a different period of time, let's say 2008, and we can see that we get a different list. Now some of these customers appeared in our list before we applied the filter, but that's because they were still top 10 customers for all time and we can see how the values change for another year, 2005. 